Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping down into the charts for XRP, see what's been going on most recently and what we would expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below, fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free to join, so why not go ahead and check it out? I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. Okay, guys, let's jump into this, right? So XRP paired up with USDT. This is the hourly chart and Binance is our data source. As we spoke about yesterday, we had to make some brief adjustments based on the current wave structures and what else is, you know, appearing to kind of go on here. Now, for the most part, we're tracking a five wave structure going down however this can convert into a nice abc move if we continue this upward directional move that we're having at the moment so i want to kind of just take a look at that briefly before we talk about the bigger picture and um, so if we come into this uh, recent pullback uh, pull up that we've been seeing and we take this as a fibonacci measurement and we move it over to the current lows this actually shows us moving to about 73 um cents 0.86 right so 73.86 now if we were to go up there in this ABC fashion, uh, this corrective pattern here, uh, we would actually cross higher than our wave one low, invalidating the structure of going down lower. OK, uh, again, this is just basically make this an ABC pattern coming down here. Um, and basically, it's just an overextended C wave, which is also a viable option. And if this happens, then actually what we have here is a bit of a bounce upwards before we continue our way down. I still think we've got lower to go. OK, we've only really just entered into the 60 cent ranges before moving on back out. Um, so I do think this is a potentially a big A wave coming down, a B wave bounce moving up and then a C wave that will take us down lower, completing our ABC structure of our our um, daily chart and I'll go through that in a moment okay so for now this is actually looking pretty interesting right so uh, all eyes are really on XRP's next move moving up um, and if we bring the stochastic RSI back for this hourly chart we're oversold right now and um, so we have true potential here to see this move on up there are a couple of uh, issues though and we should acknowledge these as the four hourly chart is overbought okay so we should be thinking that there's going to be uh, a time to see this correction come back down and bring us into uh, you know an oversold area on the the four hourly chart and um, so although the hourly chart is indicating that we move up the four hourly chart is moving us down so we should expect some volatility here where i think on the short time frame we'll move up and then we'll start pulling down afterwards okay so the aim here and the objective for XRP is to basically move up to 72.6 or higher. OK, going higher than that basically will allow us to invalidate our five wave structure and we can start talking about the bigger picture overall. Um, so on the eight hourly chart, very similar picture. We're moving on up to the overbought area okay so this actually shows us with room to grow this pretty much ties up nicely with our hourly chart and therefore we are thinking that we are likely to move up short term that will also mean that we'll move back up into the overbought area on the four hourly chart and our eight hourly chart will become overbought okay so basically our next move should be in the upward direction and we are looking for 72.6 or higher okay and the same thing is being kind of articulated here for this eight hourly chart now the daily chart shows us uh, the bigger picture okay and the bigger picture is actually saying saying that we have to do, move down a little bit lower than we've already been right uh, we had a low of 64.51 and we should be thinking much lower than that okay um so if we are to articulate this differently and think that this was a big um a wave coming down it would mean that our a wave has moved from this particular low point to this one over here at 64.51 and it means that we should be bouncing up from here okay now if i um actually go ahead and just tidy some of this stuff up for a second and i go and run a fib from the top to the bottom here Okay, we should be thinking about a 618. And um, so this still puts us with that 80 cent range. It's still there. It's on the on the horizon here uh, on this next kind of bigger surge to the upside. Okay, now it's no guarantees in this space. Um, B waves are incredibly unpredictable. Um, but if that is the case, then we would basically see, um, you know, v, uh, we would see XRP move up nicely towards that 80 cent range before pulling back down. And the other thing to consider here is that if we do hit that 80 cent level, then it will allow us to be on a one-to-one -one ratio or show us a one-to-one -one ratio with our C wave, showing that we will move down to about 55 cent, okay? A little bit lower than our trend line. But again, we're actually in an E wave on this daily chart, okay? And this is also, just like a B wave, incredibly unpredictable, okay? It can be short. It could end literally here and we could just go to the moon straight away. Alternatively, it can come down 
to 55 cent and be on a one-to-one -one ratio and be perfectly fine with everything that we're talking about with this ABC. Alternatively, it could go down and we could end up with a bleeding uh, XRP here to 44 cent, for example, right? And my point I'm trying to make here is an E-wave isn't something that you're going to be able to predict just looking at an E-wave on its own. You have to use the sub-wave counts to help us understand what is going to happen here with um, you know XRP on this particular chart. Now, the daily chart is looking pretty good for a good strong bounce. So 80 cents is very possible, in my opinion, based on the fact that we are oversold on this daily chart, right? And so we should be looking at growth and for xrp 80 cents seems to make sense but again it makes sense but again you know as i said b waves are unpredictable it could be shorter it could be longer but it shouldn't really i mean it can but it shouldn't really go higher than the origin position at 93 cent okay but it is possible that we have an expanding flat uh corrective move here with our e-wave but it would be very uh, unusual and we, we shouldn't really expect such a move so i would say that 93 cents should should not get broken and um, but it is possible that it does under certain circumstances for the most part i would expect 80 cent to be the point where we see this daily stochastic rsi back up in the overbought area and then we pull this back down into these low ranges of 50 to 60 cent range maybe a little bit low on the one-to-one -one ratio at 55 cent for example um, but essentially in that range is where we're kind of looking and thinking about the trend line uh the the upward trend line here this actually comes in about 57 cent uh at the moment so subject to change of course but for the most part yeah i think xrp is going to be volatile we're going to be seeing some moves going up and we're going to see some moves going down and then once we actually have this bottomed out on our e-wave here we are going to see one colossal surge upwards and uh, if i zoom on out i've spoken about this before and i'll talk about it again and um, just to kind of hammer in exactly what i'm thinking about here uh, essentially what we've got going on is a large a wave coming up from the the march 2020 lows all the way to uh, i think it was april yeah april 2021 then we got into this elliott wave triangle we're looking to complete the last little moment of this which is our e-wave uh, and then we'll get a breakout of here uh, for a one-to-one -one ratio with our a and rc would put us at about nine dollars 97 and yes i read the comments people call it hopium etc and um, but i will highlight that 1600 for uh, for this last leg of this bull run it is not uncommon then it'll be pretty much in line with the rest of the crypto space and uh, there's nothing unusual about 16 x's on some cryptocurrencies some are in fact actually looking at 40 x's uh believe it or not if you're looking at the right altcoins right um so to look at this as a 1600 percent that's pretty doable and pretty achievable it's not uh, in the range of some of the others which are uh, tracking at about four thousand percent uh, in their last little moves to the upside okay and um, bitcoin obviously and ethereum there'll be very similar numbers to this they won't be anything kind of strenuous um bitcoin will obviously be nowhere near the, that total uh by the time it actually peaks out towards its kind of fifth wave high um but essentially you know you're looking at a few hundred percent there for um for bitcoin so not going to be moving the needle in your portfolio significantly with btc and um, likewise ethereum you're not going to be looking at huge percentage gains um, from ETH, um, but some of these altcoins are definitely looking very, very attractive. And most of them are looking at a minimum of 10x at this point, considering an 85% crash from its, their previous all-time highs. Um, this is, for the most part, what a lot of people would consider a bear market. Um, at 85% crash, it's incredibly bearish, right? Um, this is not a time to be buying or selling. Uh, it's not a time to be selling, in my opinion, but definitely a time to be really thinking about whether or not you want to enter the market 85% discount from its previous all-time high bear market lows for many altcoins is around 95 percent, so you're in a 10 percent tolerance of that at the moment um, so that's pretty interesting kind of metrics to also be thinking about whether you want to enter or exit out of a market in terms of xrp here like i said 997 is the uh, most common area that you would expect the c wave to land after coming out of this LA wave triangle and um, but do be aware that the 618 the 702 and the 786 are also going to be key areas for us anywhere between three dollars 20 and five dollars 28 they're going to be major resistance blockers so we want to be paying close attention to what the market is doing as xrp approaches those levels guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one